Hey guys, Erica Jones here for CMS Connected. I'm at the Sitecore Symposium event in sunny Orlando, Florida. Right now, I'm standing in the Partner Pavilion, and behind me, all of the sponsors of the events have their setups, and we're gonna go in and check it out. I'm now joined by Anthony Wickham, and he is from Avanade. How are you doing today? Very well, thank you. How are you? I'm great, thank you for asking me. So, first and foremost, why are you guys at the event? Why was it important for you to sponsor a symposium this year? Um, well, we started our marketing practice uh, at Avenard about 10 years ago, and we started it with Sitecore. Um, and it kind of grew exponentially year after year. Um, so we come really because we want to stay on top of what's happening, all the new stuff, your content hub. These are the things that keep us alive and keep us relevant to our customers. Um, so we wanted to come here, see what's happening, and get a feel for the vibe again and meet customers. It's been lots and lots of customers here this year. So yeah, you know, generate new revenue and pipeline too. Well, we've been a, uh, a long time partner with, uh, with Sitecor for over a decade now. Uh, we're a strategic alliance, so we're, we're pretty closely aligned from, from an executive standpoint, but also from an overall go-to-market. We're targeting the mid-market to enterprise clients. And um, yeah, we have over 100 plus joint clients on the Sitecor platform. So it's just a, a natural fit that we're here you know, to hang out with the good people. I'm now joined by Sam Goebel, and she's from Accentium. How are you doing today? I'm doing great, thank you. Wonderful. So the first thing we want to know, why was it important for you guys to sponsor this event? Why are you here? Accentium has enjoyed a long partnership with Sitecore, um, and in fact, a large portion of our business is centered on Sitecore. It is the only CMS that we work with. Um, we have enjoyed a platinum partnership with Sitecore for several years. Um, and we have a lot of folks in our, um, in our practice who are not only focusing on delivering great results for clients, but also on innovating with the platform. So we're here um, to learn from our peers as well as to share um, the different things that, that we've developed. I'm joined now with Jonathan Witte from Bright Cove. How are you doing today? Doing awesome. Having a great show. Wonderful. Yeah, it's been a good time so far. Absolutely. So the first thing we'd love to know is why did Bright Cove want to sponsor this event? So we've been a Sitecore partner for quite some time now, and we see the value that Sitecore brings to their customers and their customers asking for things such as video. And that's what we specialize here at Prycove, and we've been doing it for a very long time, and a lot of our customers today that we work with are Sitecore customers as well, so this partnership is, uh, is it means a lot to us. Well, of course, this is the event in the year for the Sitecore community. Sitecore is a very important thing for us. We have over 750 people that do Sitecore work globally, uh, we're a global partner, so we operate in the Americas, Europe, and Asia Pacific. And so uh, this is the global event for us to come. We have 10 people here from EMEA as well. So uh, connecting with clients, with Sitecore, seeing the latest developments, and just being here and showing folks what EPAM's about. And that's, that's all the things why we're here. Yeah, for us, uh, Sitecore is a, is a very important partner uh, that we have. We've been working with Sitecore for the last eight years, pretty much. So, um, a strong customer base using Sitecore and using, obviously, our services. Um, and yeah, for us, it's, it's, it's a very good uh, opportunity to meet partners, to meet customers, uh, answer the experiences. So, the first question we wanted to ask you is, why did you guys want to sponsor the event and be here today? So I think I can res uh, respond to that with a question. Why not, right? Uh, you know, first of all, first of all, the Sitecore Symposium is one of the best places for both agencies, clients, developers, marketers to really get together and learn about the platform. And for us, being an agency, it's one of the primary areas where we can actually promote ourselves, but also uh, bring support to our developers, bring support to our marketers, uh, and everybody's going to learn something. For so for us, it was a no-brainer. Why not? You know, sponsor. Well, we are actually in a, in a very close relationship with Sitecore, which is what we appreciate a lot. And it is about human connections, like the theme of the conference already sort of tells. But really, it is about smart people, smart minds coming together to create smart, smarter, better, more innovative solutions for our clients, because that is what uh, what it all boils down to in the end. Sure. So we've been a partner of Sitecore for nearly a decade. Uh, in fact, ironically, before I joined Caveo, I worked for Sitecore. So I've actually known about this partnership for well over six years. And it was really important for us to be part of Symposium. It's the biggest event that Sitecore has for its customers. We have got a close technology integration. We always have done. And so this is really the best forum to meet those customers where they come to get, convene. So you obviously have a great ga grasp of Sitecore and of Caveo. What is a value proposition that you would say these two companies share? 
Sure, very good point. So a very important part of digital experiences these days is personalizing that experience for every individual. And I think we've grown up to share that value in that our enterprise customers are constantly having to compete against the likes of the Amazons and the Netflixes of the world who've raised the bar on what these digital experiences mean. We together help to do that for large enterprises and brands so that they are also able to deliver these highly valuable, relevant, tailored experiences using AI and data and all the technology under the hood. Yeah, definitely. I think there's I think there's quite a few, but the one that really comes to mind today, given um, you know the topic of this human connection in a digital world, um, one of Horizontal's core beliefs is that you're only as good as your worst customer experience. And I think Sitecore really believes that too. You know, when they um, you know continue to launch new features on their platform, they're really always driving that end customer experience and helping you know marketers and technologists really think about how. Um, using all of this technology impacts that end customer, um, and that's really one of our core beliefs too. Between Just After Midnight and Sitecore, is there a shared value proposition that you would be able to share with us? Yeah, 100%. So, you know, Sitecore for a very long time has been all about experience, um, and that is the direction that they'll continue to follow. Um, we are all about enabling our customers and our partners to execute on the customer experiences that they promise their customers, and that's what Sitecore is all about. Um, especially now with most clients that are really kind of pushing to the cloud, that fits really well with where Sitecore and Rackspace are, are kind of heading and providing for the client base. So right now, we're, our message within Rackspace is really meeting clients where they are today, you know, in their customer journey. And that ties in very well with what Sitecore is providing, especially around their managed cloud premium product, which is a, a product backed by Rackspace as well. So it is a, a joint product that we're taking to the market to, to meet these mid, mid and enterprise level clients. Well, the value prop we have is that our company is a, a tier two SI firm, and we deal in specifically in verticals. So our strength is to work only in the verticals, like in banking, and then there's insurance, and travel, transportation, hospitality, and this goes globally. So when we meet SciCorp's customers and our prospects that come here, we understand their business needs. And the first thing is more about the business, how to help them understand how this tool can help them in their business, produce ROI, top line revenue. Not only that, it's a roadmap into the future. So that's the, that's the kind of value we bring to the table right now. Not only that, we have specific tools that basically nobody else has. One of them is an upgrade tool. So if they want to upgrade from a past release to a present release, we have a tool that can reduce the, by 75% of their efficiency to bring it down to, to, to fruition. So we're excited about that, and we also have some introducing a 3D analytics and the data on the Sitecore data. So we have some value add besides the industries we're working on. So between EPAM and Sitecore, is there a shared value proposition that you could tell us about? Well, yeah, I mean, it's all about helping our clients succeed digitally. And you know, that, that encompasses e-commerce a lot of times regular content, digital experiences, you know, with the new thing like Content Hub, for example. It's a new challenge that, uh, you know, the clients have to figure out how can they use this to help them succeed digitally. So really succeeding digitally is the reason why both Sitecore and EPAM are here together. Yeah, so I think it's really focusing on making people happier, whether it's employees or customers, and putting them first. So putting the employee first experience is all about what Sitecore does for customers, but we're focusing at it from an employee perspective. Absolutely. Um, Sitecore, in, in my experience, has been an ideal solution for a, uh, a whole range of different types of organizations. From you know, multi-billion dollar corporations that have very large budgets to nonprofits who might have a more limited budget. Um, it's an amazing platform with ease of integration and lots of flexibility for customization. Um, so in, in our mind, it is the CMS to go with for solid business solutions that deliver ROI for our clients. So for us, we have a connector, right? So we are a language service provider. Uh, and we streamline the process from Sitecore to our platform. So all your content in Sitecore can be exported to our platform, our translators, they will pick it up, and we will send it back to Sitecore. So it's a native integration, um, and it's super smooth. You know, between you guys and Sitecore, is there a common shared value proposition, you would say? Yes. Yes, there is. Um, so we're all about customer experience. Um, so my background isn't technology, it's actually creative agency. Um, and I spent my life trying to find new ways to help brands to connect to their customer. 
Um, and since I took over at Avenard, the, the digital marketing globally, um, my view is like we need to have a proper brilliant experience end to end. And that experience has to come from insight that you can get um, and delivered automated great experiences. Um, so yeah, um, that whole kind of human connections, that way to make the, 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 the experience feel relevant and right for you, um, it feeds the company's insights about the way that people want to be spoken to, dealt with. And actually, as it goes from that acquisition side to the retention side, you can start to service them in new, better ways. Um, and actually, I have a story about that, which is um, to do with healthcare, where uh, we were delivering great experiences, we thought great experiences, to uh, a medical devices company's clients. Um, and we got feedback from one of the clients who said, you know, for the first time in 10 years, I feel like I'm a person and not a condition. And I think if you deliver a great experience, that's the kind of response that you can get back. Uh, first and foremost, it's going to be our experience. I mean, we've been a partner for 13 years. Well, we've been in business for 21 years. Uh, we have a slew of developers and MVPs uh, who have been delivering these uh, solutions for a long time. I myself have actually been working with Sitecore for almost 11 years. So actually, no, 12 years, oh. now that I think about it. <laughs> and, uh, and so I would say, first and foremost, our experience. But if you think about our name, Connective DX, the DX means digital experience. We've been doing digital experience, customer experience, talking about the human connection for years. You know? And so it's interesting now that that's the theme of this year's symposium. And we're like, yeah, we're doing it already. You know? So for us, the strategy that we provide around our, our uh, solutions, the design that we build that's all UX and very customer centric, to all, even down to the uh, implementation where we constantly think about the author experience. It's all circled around the human connection there. Absolutely. So, is there an example that you can think of of a time where Connective DX had a customer that really was able to have a wonderful human connection? You know, um, one that we had we had this one client that had uh, they were a uh, they were a health plan. And they had a wellness portal where um, their members could go and learn about their health, kind of get an idea of how they were doing uh, in their wellness and seeing how like their blood pressure wouldn't, you know, was it good or bad, that kind of stuff. Their portal was not user friendly. It was this really long drawn out registration process. Um, and that was just on the member side. On the administration side, it would take forever for them to actually build these portals. So what we did was we took, we took it back and we was like, hey, we want to make this uh, a solution that really allows members to learn more about their health in a really friendly and inviting way that's not just a lot of text. And so we did it by just creating a dashboard that kind of gave them red light, green lights of what they're doing, how they're doing. Uh, and then we mixed it with real data coming in from a real-time situation. Then using Sitecore, we were actually able to personalize it to them based on whatever, you know, uh, ailments they might have. One of the biggest airlines is currently using our platform and they're using it in a way to enable their cabin crew that's 30,000 feet up high to integrate and communicate with the people on the ground and able to connect all these humans together in a seamless way wherever they are. We all know the theme of the week is that human connection in a digital world. Is there maybe a customer story or a way that you can relate the idea of you know the human connection um, as it relates to EPAM? Right well I mean for the last 10 years marketers have been our clients 9 out of 10 times and really their mission is usually to connect on a human level and so we're actually here connecting with them hearing their challenges uh, they are our clients also for e-commerce for e-commerce uh, a lot of times they want to connect not just on a product level but on a human level and on a marketing level so um, so there's a lot of human element to this kind of work in the first place. And then being here in person, I mean, it's totally human connections. And, and that's really the reason to be here. Uh, you know, everyone gets to see each other, get to hear from clients. And we have a lot of existing clients that are here as well. And really just hear what people's challenges are and, and how we can help solve them. So, you know, as I said, we are the 24-7 support people um, for brands and their agencies. So um, one of the things that often gets forgotten about in um, in, in digital, we, all, we think about the technology a lot, we think about the creative, we think about the strategy. Um, obviously, we're all concerned that the experiences that we deliver actually are up 24-7. They're working and they're responding and they're performant. Um, but when an incident actually happens, it's a pretty stressful time for people that are responsible for these things. You know, heads can roll, so the stakes are high. Um, 
So we're the calm voice in a crisis. Our job is to take the stress out of that process. Um, at, at that event, you need to know that you've got some people who are a safe pair of hands that are on it, they're communicating, working out what the challenge is, and they're going to fix it for you, and they're going to do it quick. Yeah, wow, I think there's been quite a few. Um, here in our booth today, we have a really large exhibit for Milwaukee Tool, so I think that's probably a, a fun and easy one to talk about, but um, they recently just launched their fuel line, and this is a line of um, high power uh, power tools, um, like jackhammers and, and large tools that usually would have to run on gas or electric, and they just launch the fuel line and they all run on batteries. Um, and so to launch this product, we help them build out their website featuring all of these fuel tools and how people can you know, compare them and do a side-by-side -side and then find a supplier near them that has it. Um, so I think that's really going to impact you know, a lot of their customers and how they shop for their products and you know, their day-to-day -day life on the job sites too. So I have one more question, and seeing as the theme of this week is really about you know, human connection, could you provide an example of one time where NIT was able to allow a, one of your customers to create a really amazing human connection? Yeah, um, obviously as Bob mentioned, the, the different industries that we're in, the, the best example that comes to mind is in the insurance space. Uh, we have a global insurance client that we've been working with now for going on three and a half, um, almost four years. Originally started out as more of just a platform implementation for internal use. Um, and we wound up using Sitecore to build a specific product for the insurance industry for underwriters. But as part of we were working with them and their strategy is they also wanted to know how they could improve their overall experience and their one-to-one -one relationship for all of their brokers. So we helped them expand Sitecore and not only handle everything internally, but to handle that relationship with the brokers and provide a very personalized experience. And then beyond that, also to the end customers as well. So um, I'd say they're probably the first that now have the ability to drive personalization internally to the brokers and to the end customers as well. We all know the theme of the week, human connection in a digital world. How do you see Bright Cove creating an ecosystem where we can truly create that human connection? So again, our, 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 our company is who it is today because of our customers, right? So it's again comes down to support. It's being able to work with those customers and bring to them something that they potentially have never had before, right? That human touch. Right, helping them around their content, making sure that that content is being pushed in the right ways, the right different types of platforms that they have out there today. And again, as I mentioned just before, I think that's very similar to what Sitecore is doing today and, and, and how they're working with their, with their customers. Again, it's, you can have the best product in the world, but if you don't have that human touch, you're not going to get anywhere. You can have a, a good product in the market, but you have that human touch that you're interacting with your customer base, you're listening to that customer base, you're going to be successful all day long. I absolutely agree. I think an example is that our connector connects, of course, Sitecore and our platform, and it eases the way of uh, doing translations in Sitecore. So one of the examples is one of our uh, customers, SSAB, out of Sweden. They saved a ton of time doing uh, their translations through our solution. So instead of having multiple editors sitting and work with the translations, you could have one editor doing the whole website in just yeah, a limited amount of time, allowing her to do kind of what is the engaging work of being a marketeer in a large enterprise today. So I think it's a smooth of the operation that is really the benefit to the customer out there. Absolutely, I agree. Well, thank you guys so much for talking with us today. Thank you. So I know that Valtech is the partner that has been working with L'Oreal to create their amazing global digital experience. Could you tell us a little bit more about that? Of course, uh, we are very proud of that project and it really is a showcase of human connections all around the world because it is hard to build a project on that scale and really bring all the individuals together to actually create an amazing service like that based on a Sitecore platform. So, you know, it, talking from a European perspective, it was super interesting to find the right people, connect them to their counterparts in all the other parts of the world, both on Sitecore and within Wildtech, because it's both big organizations and that is your, your breaking point. You know, you need to create those connections to be able to really uh, facilitate the kind of change that you're looking for. So talking about the theme of the week, you know, the human connection in the digital world, can you maybe provide us an example of a time that one of Accentium's customers has really exhibited that idea? We are actually the proud partner of the American Heart Association, who has been featured throughout the event, um, both as one of the 
um, one of the folks in Paige's marketing keynote yesterday, um, but they're also the, um, they're being sponsored through donation here at the event as well. Um, so we started our journey with heart.org about three years ago, um, working with them and collaborating with them on everything from the initial design and content strategy of rebuilding their site. And they've had huge success with Sitecore. So in, in our mind, um, it's an ideal story of the potential of Sitecore and the value of it, including to nonprofit organizations who don't have unlimited budgets, but who have this need to connect literally with everyone. Um, what's been so thrilling about working with American Heart Association is literally their mission applies to every living human. So, you know, it's, it's an honor to work with them. We've enjoyed a great partnership where they have um, become more and more empowered in using the platform themselves and they're using it for what Sitecore is best at, which is really building out those connections and building out those personalized journeys and touch points for folks at whatever stage they're at. Absolutely, it's been so great to see them at this event as well. It was a great idea, but thank you so much for talking with us today. Thank you. Um, we, we've done that a lot. I mean, I, there's a lot of things from a digital standpoint that I could definitely talk to, um, but one of the things that we're proud of right now as part of our rack space that gives back to charity is we're tied in with the American Heart Association. So we've got another joint client uh, that works with rack space called the British Heart Foundation. It is also on Sitecore and now tied in with the American Heart Association. We're actually giving uh, a dollar for everybody that comes and talks to us here today. We donate back, so a goal of trying to get at least $3,000 to give back to a good cause. Wow, we love that. Yeah. Anything where you know tech can come together and yeah. help people, it's so great. Well, thank you so much for talking to us today. My pleasure. Thank you so much. Appreciate it.